Welcome everybody from your breakout rooms. We're so glad that you are able to be with us for this month's event. We've got some small parties uh, sprinkled around Central Florida. So a special shout out to our virtual watch parties. Hello to Missionaries Ventures International. Hello to Rita Johnson with Keller Williams Advantage III and to Pete Fulch with Second Wind Finish Strong. We're so glad that you and your parties are here with us today. At this time, I'd like to invite Servola Frazier, owner of Motivate Enterprises, LLC, who's gonna lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance today. Well, thank you so much for that beautiful introduction, Christy. If you all would please join in with me now for today's pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much, Servola. So the Chamber has a new prayer page where you can log in and request prayer and pray for others. And we've asked the prayer team leaders to open up our event today and pray for this meeting and for our speaker. So I'd like to invite Pastors Phil and Karen Schowler of Life Transformation Ministries to open us up in prayer today. Thank you, Christy. Why don't we just uh, bow our heads for just a moment in prayer. Would you just agree with me? Father God, we are so grateful that we can come together virtually, Father, to lift up the name of Jesus in our businesses, on all of our workplaces. And God, we ask that you grant us favor for our businesses, Lord, so that we may grow and, and grow in a place that we can serve you and grow in a way that we can serve you better in our city, in our communities, and grow in a way, Father God, that it does not become just a workplace or just a business, but rather, God, it becomes a place of ministry for souls. So God, I ask your blessing upon Crystal Parker, upon this Central Florida Christian Chamber, and we ask your favor for this great meeting today. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Phil and Pastor Karen. We thank you so very much for that. A very special thank you as well to our breakout room sponsors that you see right now on the screen. And I'd love to give a special shout out to our AV sponsors and an awesome shout out to Photosound of Orlando for creating the very best virtual experience ever in Central Florida. Thank you guys so much for what you do. We appreciate you, Evan. We'd like to thank this month's lunch sponsor, Avail. And now time for a message from Martine Van Tilburg from Avail. Well, hello, Christian Chamber of Commerce, Central Florida. I hope you're doing great. My name is Martine Van Tilburg. I'm the CEO of Four Rivers Media, and we're excited to be the lunch sponsor. And I don't know if you're eating or not. I know this is virtual, uh, but we're the lunch sponsor this month. and. We want to talk to you about something new that we launched, which is called Avail, the Art of Leadership. The way we lead our organizations is extremely important, especially through seasons that we're recently going through in 2020. Uh, Four Rivers Media is a marketing agency, is a content marketing agency that is helping organizations get their message out. And one of the things that has happened through 2020 is organizations have reached out to us to say, hey, how do we pivot? How do we lead our organizations into the future? And I've seen that many organizations are, are adapting their strategies as opposed to innovating their strategies. Adaptation instead of innovation. Um, as a result, many organizations are simply continuing to do the same thing that they've always been doing, just an online version of it. I believe that this season uh, presents us with a unique opportunity to innovate our organization, to innovate our business models. And Avail is a voice in the Christian leadership community that will help us lead our, our organizations effectively, lead our ministries effectively, into the future as we're trying to come up with new strategies. 
Avail is a premium magazine. It has some of the brightest voices and leadership uh, associated with the brand. There's some incredible articles in it. It's practical. It will help you answer questions that we're facing in our current climates. It's, it's helping you connect to communities of like-minded people. It's the art of leadership, which, by the way, is the tagline of Avail. Now, I know that many of you have already received a copy of Avail in the mail. I made sure that every member listed in the directory of the Christian Chamber of Commerce has gotten their copy. Now, if you have received it, you know that this is a quality publication that is helping you navigate your organization as a leader. Now, I have good news. You can get your first year free. That's right. You can get your first year free. Simply go to availjournal.com. Availjournal.com. In fact, this message is pre-recorded and I'm online watching myself and I'm going to drop a link in the chat. So watch the chat and I'm going to drop a link in the chat, availjournal.com, and you can get your first year free. This magazine, it retails for $14.99 per issue. You can get it free for a whole year, availjournal.com. Avail, the art of leadership. You don't want to miss it. Thank you so much, Martine. It's such a pleasure to have you here with us today. And now it's a great honor to be able to introduce to you Central Florida Christian Chambers President Crystal Parker. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Thank you so much for spending your time today to grow with us, to experience community with us, and to really just be rooted in the kingdom. And I'm telling you, I'm so excited about what we have for you today. Before I share who our keynote speaker is, I'd like to first thank Photosound, which is where we are in the studio today. I'd also like to thank Landon Connor and his team uh, with the photography. They're here getting images and shots so that we can share with you some of the behind the scenes uh, of what took place here to make this the most incredible virtual experience that you've ever had online. Uh, let me just share something that's been on my heart. And that is, we are here to build the kingdom. We're here to build business and to build the community. And we're doing that through education, experience of the members, and exposure for your business. And I'd like to thank our lunch sponsor today, Avail Leadership. Get your copy. I've, I've covered that magazine. I've had two editions from cover to cover. Part of the education is to continue to grow and bringing in godly speakers that are experts in their field. And let me tell you, today we have with us one of the greatest entertainers. He is an encourager. He's a comedian and he's a best-selling author. If you haven't had a chance to pick up your copy of War on Fear by our speaker today, I really encourage you to do it. Uh, it's a great book, wonderful stories, and a lot of lessons linked back to the kingdom. We are not to be under a spirit of fear. And I hope that in your breakout room, you were able to hear from others ways that they've overcome their fears. But today, I'd like to introduce to you someone that's had quite a journey. Our speaker started out his career singing and songwriting, thinking that that's exactly what he was supposed to do and his gift to share with others. But he went through a little bit of the desert for about 20 years, waiting for God to tap his shoulder and share with him the next phase in life. So imagine where we are in this season, and this is a challenging season that we're in. Some of us are wandering. Some of us feel like we're in the desert. Some of our businesses have been challenged. And instead of, like Martine said, adapting, it's time to innovate. And that's exactly what John Morgan did. For 20 years, he prayed and he waited for the Lord to show him the right direction. He didn't wake up one day and say, oh, I think I want to be a presidential impersonator. But that's what the Lord revealed to him. So I'm just prayerful and so hopeful 
that today the Lord reveals something for you that you can take and apply personally for your life and in your business. Because I know that what you're doing is impacting the lives of your employees, the lives of the customers that you serve, and so many people are being touched because of your business. Today, I want to introduce you to our speaker, John Morgan. But before I do that, President Trump stopped by the studio and he wanted to share something with you. So um, could we get the President, uh, President Trump? Hello, everybody. Oh, well, that didn't work at all. Surprise. I'm doing my George W. Bush impression. <laughs> because I'm not really Donald Trump. I'm really George W. <laughs> it's good to see you. It's good to see you. I've got to get rid of this, uh, this shrug-shouldered coat of Donald's and put on my Texas coat. Appreciate everybody being here. It's, it's an honor to, to be an ambassador. It's an honor to be an imitator. And if you get a chance, imitate the very best, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Greetings, America and Christian Chamber of Commerce of Central Florida. You know, the book of hesitation says don't hesitate. <laughs> and remember, it's the good news of Jesus that turns evildoers into evil ditters. <laughs> oh, hey everybody, John Morgan here. What a joy to be with you today. I've had a crazy journey over the last 20 years, 40 years, in my faith, following Jesus Christ. I was a mere 18 years old when I was sitting in church and I felt my heart surrender to Christ before I even knew what was happening. I went forward and I said, Lord, I'm yours. It took a long time and it's still happening. The sanctification process, the change, going from sinner to saint, going from addicted to pornography and illicit garbage to one who loves God and loves others. I used to seek solace in the arms of other people sexually and I used to use illegal substances to soothe my fears. As I was a person completely contained in a prison of fear. Fear of rejection. Fear of not being enough. Fear of failure. As a younger child, I received an awful lot of insults, an awful lot of uh, rejection, and that caused me to be a person who believed myself to be unacceptable to be unworthy of God's love. And when I turned myself over to Christ, I, I began reading in the Bible about a new image that He had given me. He said, Behold, old things have passed away, and all things have become new. But it was one thing to read it, and I, I could read it and accept it in the moment. But the patterns of thinking that kept me bound in the fears of my past were still present. And so over the years, Christ began to remake me. And as I began spending time in His Word, He slowly replaced those old ways of thinking with new ways of thinking that led to new ways of living new joy, new excitement, and new love for others. And then as things would occur in our history, 
new fears would be introduced. Can anybody say 9-11? Do you remember where you were that day the towers fell? Do you remember where you were when you heard the news? Do you remember where you were two weeks later sitting in your living room lying in your bedroom glued to the TV wondering where the next anthrax attack would occur. I couldn't sleep. I remember I went for weeks with barely any sleep. How about business owners listening to me today? How are you doing right now? Is your business struggling? Are you wondering what's going to happen? How long can the government prop us all up? It can lead to so many fears if we focus on them. But God has given us a new way. In Colossians chapter 3, we are instructed to keep our eyes on things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God, not on things that are below. And if we do that, my brothers and my sisters, the joy of the Lord floods our, our reality, our moments. And it doesn't mean that those things aren't happening, but they be, become placed where they belong. You see, we're taught from cover to cover in the Bible, Genesis to Revelation, to not fear. And when you read the things that were going on in the lives of the disciples, during the moments when those instructions were given. It's, it's a paradox. Do not be afraid. You know, earlier, when you were all in your breakout rooms, we were here in the studio, and we were muting and unmuting and worried about this and that. But you know God's characteristics are immutable. He's unchanging. And His promises to care for us are absolute. You can depend on them. And I, I was, as I said earlier, held in a prison of fear. And I knew that all of my friends, most of my friends were too. I mean, that we, we deal with different fears. They keep us from living full out for the gospel. They, they, they keep us from giving our all to Christ. You know, there's a quote in here that says, fear is trusting in the wrong thing. If we take our businesses and our lives and our ministry and we die to them, they, they, they belong to the Lord. If we say, Lord, there it's yours, then we can work as though we're working for the King. And whether it fails or succeeds, it succeeds. Because if we are doing everything we do for the King, the rest is in His hands, isn't it? And we can trust Him. I, I, I want to invite you that you were created to shine. You were created to live full out for the King. You were created to rock this life not cower in the corner. Friends, enough of this beige life of blending in. We are children of God, meant to look like God in this world. As He was, so are we. What? That almost defies belief, and yet His own words. So, I invite you today, I implore you today, Expand your vision. Expand your intention to model Christ in this world. Ephesians 5, 1 says, Be imitators of God as beloved children. Not because we can't, but, but that's our calling. We can and we do. People look at my life, your life, they say, Why are you so different? You live as though you're inhabited by God Himself. That's our reality. 
So I've written a couple of songs that, uh, that help lean into this truth, and I'm going to uh, step on over to the Grand Ole Opry and, and play them for you. All right, here we go. Now, I know it seems we laugh. Is this Memorex? We laugh? Okay. I know it seems strange to see the president <laughs> with a ukulele around his neck, but, uh, you know, just kind of go with the imagination of it, okay? Let's see. Uh, here's a little, uh, here's a little ZZ for you. <laughs> just messing with you. Uh, this is a song that's out of the uh, book of Isaiah, chapter 60, I believe. It says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. In my, uh, in my stage productions, I do a little thing about the three-letter sentence, I see you. That's right. Only three letters, and yet it's so important, every hospital has a wing named after it. So that's the first three words of the song, shine. Inside your circumstance, and I see you looking for a chance to dance, and it seems to me the world's a better place because of you. You were made to shine just like the stars above, and I know you are made for love and to be loved, and it seems to me. The world's a better place because of you. Why do we see one another and compare our lives together, thinking that the greener grass is anywhere but here? Shine, shine, set your eyes on things above now. Shine, shine, you are someone made for love now. Shine, shine, join in and shine Ain't it grand Life is so worth celebrating Hand in hand Live a life worth imitating Sing along The world's a better place Because of you Why do we see one another And compare our lives together Thinking that the greener grass is anywhere but here Truth breaks in like revelation You're a part of God's creation You were born with your own story Singing, dancing, giving glory Shine, shine Set your eyes on things above now Shine, shine You are someone made for love now Shine, shine Join in the applause of God and shine Shine, set your eyes on things above now. Shine, shine, you are someone made for love. So shine, so shine. You can, y'all can clap, make it seem like there's a crowd in here. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. You know, it's so funny when I'm standing here, I, 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 I kind of can't help going into either, either the President Donald J or George W. When I'm supposed to at this point just be John, you know. But, you know, I like what Mark Tyne uh, said from Avail from Four Rivers a little while ago. He said, we have to innovate. See, when, in, in 2008, when, when my phone completely stopped ringing, I had to innovate, and so I did, and I kept going. I'm, I'm still full-time in this wacky, crazy, wonderful business. See, you have to do what I do. See, this is two dimes, but if you throw it, it becomes a paradigm shift. <laughs> so you've got to be willing and ready to innovate, to change, to adapt, to, to create. The other day I was in my house, and a song 
just dropped into my spirit. I wrote the thing in five minutes, and the, only, the reason it took five minutes to write it is I'm a slow typist. But I'd like to end by sharing it with you. And this is a song that really applies to what we've been talking about today, and it also applies to where America is as a country. Thank you, Crystal. And we have the privilege today to make a difference in areas that need to change. We need to realize that in the eyes of God, everyone is welcome. Everyone is treasured. And in the eyes of America, you know, in the middle of the presidential seal, that little, that little flaggy thing in the middle, it says, e pluribus unum. What that means is, out of many, one. America is a place where all have absolute equal value. And right now, there's a lot of talk about justice. And we need to make sure that all people are treated with great respect, honor, and fairness. And then we all as a country, we all as a church, can be that light shining on a hill. There are two sides to every single story The passion and the glory Just trying to make it through the day You know we're trying to come together Arm in arm and hand in hand and with my brother, I will fight to unify our land. America, home of the brave. We stand strong when we're willing to change. And I will wash the feet of freedom and bow down the my knees. Waiting for the healing, fighting for the freedom. My brother and me. And on the other hand, there are those who would undo us, unruly who would rule us, and break us all apart. And I will stand beside you and fight against injustice and lawless ones among us. Come on, let freedom reign. America, home of the brave, we stand strong, willing to change, and I will wash the feet of freedom, and bow down on my knees, pray for the healing, fighting for the freedom of my brother. Get your guitars and tune Melody and harmony. Let's make a little reverie. Get your guitars and tune Melody and harmony. Let's make a little reverie. Get your guitars and tune Get your guitars and tune Melody and harmony, let's make a little red.
Thank you so much. Thanks. God bless you. And thank you for the privilege of sharing with you today Central Florida Christian Chamber of Commerce. That was amazing. I can't believe you wrote that in five minutes. I know, right? Absolutely. You stay up here with me for just a minute. Oh, okay. I, I don't want anybody to miss out on getting a chance to uh, see you. And uh, I was just wanting to tell people how they can engage with you further. And so the first thing you can do is pick up this book, War on Fear. Here are just some hilarious stories and some truth that is told from John about overcoming fears and you can really take it a step further so you got to hear just a little tip of the iceberg today and then also this guy goes live monday through friday on facebook that's right you can find him called bush guy on facebook so bush guy and and we got to make sure that they search right yeah facebook.com slash bush guy right speaking of the bush guy i was wondering if the president could help me we have an award that we want to uh, recognize some people today, some chamber members. We have sponsorships through the chamber, and we have an organization called Missionary Ventures International, and they're a wonderful organization, and they actually chose to do a gold-level sponsorship with the Christian Chamber. And so would the president be able to just, um, you know, say uh, something, you know, like thank you or just presenting an award to them, how would President Bush do that? Well, I think he would recognize that the greatest news in the world is the gospel. And, and the organization mm. whose purpose is getting that out to the world is right in the very center of God's will. So Missionary Ventures, you rock. We love you. Keep up the great work. Yes, you do rock. Let's, let's kick over to Missionary Ventures. We've got Mark Goldstein who is with the Christian Leadership Concepts, and uh, Bill Snell, the president at MVI Missionary Ventures, uh, presenting the plaque for the Gold Level Sponsorship. And don't forget, we're here with a whole room full of people <laughs> enjoying this. Say hi, everybody. Woo! <laughs> and uh, you're right, Crystal. We're here with Bill Snell, with uh, Cynthia Williams, who is the CFO, and uh, Brad Staten, who is the um, chief, chief, chief development, the CEO says he's the chief development <laughs> officer. So anyhow, once again, it's my privilege to present MBI with another gold sponsorship for another year. Thank you so much. And uh, what a great watch party. I think they had 14 total at that watch party. That's awesome. So you are being watched through watch parties all over the city. There's people that actually have joined us today from all over the U.S., believe it or not, from Kansas to Texas. And, and I just know that that song that you shared with us there has so much healing power to it and uh, in a time such as this. And I know that you mentioned a little bit about uh, why you wrote it. And where do you see that going? Has it been released yet? No, it's actually still in pre-release. Um, this afternoon, I'm going to go do some final mixes. It'll be released by me, and then also I'm hoping to get somebody like, oh, I don't know, maybe Brad Paisley or, or uh, you know. I think he actually logged on, so he may be on. Hey, Brad, Brad. good to see you. Yeah, thanks for joining. <laughs> awesome. Well, I uh, will continue on with the rest of the program here, but uh, you were amazing today, and I thank you so much for saying yes and being here and just sharing your gift with so many Christian business leaders around the United States. And so just God be with you and just keep your spirit just so wonderful and humble. And uh, you've just touched so many people today. So Excellent. thank you so much. My privilege. God bless. Thank you. Yep, we're going to go ahead and kick it back to Christy. Thank you so much, Crystal. And thank you, John, so much for such an amazing message. So we have a Fellowship Friday remix and following a great speaker at our Relationship Building Lunch, let's dive in deeper at our Fellowship Friday. So coming up tomorrow, join us as we unpack the message, as we dive deeper, as we look inward and seek God in what this message has where we can get deep together and engage in conversation 
and participation with purpose. Would you join us Friday morning for Fellowship Friday Remix? Go to our website under events for more information. So next month, Relationship Building event, is it gonna be live? Is it gonna be Zoom? Stay tuned, but I want you to know Crystal Parker is our featured speaker. So no matter how it comes to you, it's going to be amazing. And I invite you to join us for a new event next month, September 29th, from noon to one o'clock. We're going to have our very first hybrid lunch and learn with Arnold Smalley. CEO of Small World Solutions, who will talk about cultural competency, the solid foundation of diversity and inclusion. We offer in-person and virtual, and this event is members only and hosted by EXP Realty. Thank you so much, Christy, and thank you everyone for joining. If there are questions, uh, go ahead and place them in the chat room and we'll make sure to try to address those questions uh, either now or later at future events or through some of our communication uh, after this event. Uh, you will be getting a chance to participate in a survey, so give us your feedback so we can continue to make these events better for you. And uh, I just really want to thank you so much for taking time with us today and for joining us uh, today at this amazing, the best ever, and I'm looking over at the folks from Photosound, the best ever live virtual event on Zoom. I don't know how you guys did it, but you did a great job. So thank you for that. And uh, in closing, we would like to send you all to Jerusalem uh, for Ron as he gives us the benediction for today. And the Lord spoke to Moses saying, tell Aaron, this is the way you are to bless my people. Viva Rekaka Adonai Vahishmareka, Yair Adonai Panavaleka Vekuneka, is Adonai Panavaleka Vesimnika Shalom. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. And the scripture continues, and they shall place my name upon them, and I will bless them. Ken Yahi Rashon. Yes, let it be so. Amen.